all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from khux nation and for today's episode we are going over the new medal that we recently we got for the beginning of this month now if you recall if my previous union cross video uh i went over how they made a notice discussing that there's basically going to be four new medals throughout this entire month okay uh right now as of recently as you can see right now on the screen we have supernova ultimate form sora and i believe in like a week or two i put i think in a week i think like sometime in a week more or less we will see uh kingdom hearts 3 ansem appear as the new vip medal uh it's basically just the reverse version of supernova of uh, ultimate form sora more or less i think it's power though instead of speed um and then within the last the third and fourth week we'll have a new metal as well okay something along those lines uh but other than that anyways though let's quickly go over the new metal uh give my thoughts about it so this is what he looks like of course i will say though i absolutely love the artwork and aesthetic for the metal it's a really cool transformation in kingdom Hearts 3 on its own uh, so to be, to be able to see it in metal form is is pretty dope to be honest okay but aside from aesthetics uh the actual ability itself he's a tier 9 uh speed upright metal aoe does three hits that ignore targets attributes we have not seen that in quite a long time to be honest um i don't recall when was the last i i want to say the last time we saw a metal that ignored targets attributes was probably since HD, HD King Mickey EX. And that was forever ago. <laughs> I don't know if that was quite, the, if that was exactly the last metal that had that type of ability. Um, but that's the most recent that I can think of at the top of my head. <clears throat> um, in case you're not aware, metals like this that have that type of mechanic are typically best suited for uh, raid bosses because of the fact that uh if you're able to you generally want to try and create one uh rating setup if possible um that can be used against most raid bosses okay so that regardless of the attribute that the that the enemy that the enemy raid boss is you can always just use that setup okay um it, it, it basically in, in another in other words it basically means that you it requires you to have less different setups for different attributes or different raid setups so instead of needing like three or more rating setups for different attributes uh if you have enough metals like this you can just have one setup period against all or most uh raid bosses okay so absolutely fantastic uh it's now that we also recently just got the new buff to uh to super effectiveness for between attributes so like uh for example power is a super effective against speed so because of the new buff uh that synergy is now amplified more than it used to be um uh, just to help keep up with how crazy uh the power creep between metals are becoming now these days uh it's very possible that to be honest this mechanic could end up being really good just universally as well for the rest of the rest of the game to be seen yet if whether or not this would be the case because generally in the past it's only really mostly been useful for rating but it's still possible that maybe this will also become maybe, maybe it'll become useful in uh in pve missions too not too sure yet what we will it, st it still remains to be seen uh anyways aside from that the rest of ability says uh for one term he raises the upright metal strength of your metals by 1500 okay kind of similar to what we've been seeing so far uh except instead of water or, or magic power speed like we had for uh, aqua terra and ventus this time it's for upright okay uh he also says that he raises the upright and psm strength by seven tiers increases guilt buff by 200 percent lowers the target's upright and psm defense by seven tiers and does not affect counters okay he costs three gauges and has a damage multiplier of 56.62 multipliers honestly kind of standard at this point for 
supernova medals, more or less. Um, not too many are going into the 60 range very often now. 50, around the 50 mark, mid 50s is kind of being the average at this point. Uh, the supernova is an AoE supernova for one turn, raises the upright PSM strength by 10 tiers, uh, guilt buff by 230%. If it's evolved via Meow Wows, it's 280% instead, and also lowers the target's upright and PSM defense by 10 tiers and increases or restores three gauges. Okay. Uh, it has a multiplier of 180, uh, or maybe let me move ahead. Multiplier of 180, but when it's evolved, it has a multiplier of 220. All right, <clears throat> the multiplier 220 is honestly not that bad. Uh, most metals will typically have 200, so it's sl slightly above average, uh, not too bad. The uh, the actual stat buffs, or yeah, the actual buffs and debuffs are, uh, itself are honestly not too bad either. The best way to put it is is that uh, if you don't have extra attack on a Kyrie, on a uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie. A, okay, not B, not the newest one. You don't uh, honestly at this point you don't really need the newest Kyrie at all anymore. You don't need Kyrie B, uh, just because of the fact that all of these medals that have been coming out lately that increase your metal strength by fifteen hundred just easily outclass uh, the the newest Kyrie. Um, and you definitely want as many of these type of medals as possible. So trying to have Aqua, Terra, Ventus. Trying to have at least one of each of those, if possible, is is preferred. On top of uh, getting Ultimate Form Sora, if possible, is nice too. Uh, on top of the fact of the Kingdom Hearts 3 and someone that comes out in, I think, a week or so. Okay. Uh, so, overall, it's basically exactly the same as what we've been getting uh, recently, the last few weeks or so. It's nothing too different. It's just... It's doing the exact same thing. It just provides the strength buff for upright metals now uh, i will so say though that this does make things much easier for multi attribute attribute keyblades um just because of the fact that one of the downsides oh look at that that's nice one of the downsides for the metals like aqua terra ventus and stuff was the obvious fact that you couldn't really use them as effectively on the multi-attribute keyblades just because of the fact that well they only affect one attribute okay so I'll, I'll show you the example right here right now once i get through <laughs> all of these notifications i will say though that because of the boosters that are currently in the game mono colored uh keyblades are actually honestly probably the best the only exception to that would be if if you have like a level 50 keyblade uh on a multi-attribute keyblade okay Otherwise, for the most part, it's going to be the monocolored ones that are, uh, what you might call it, that are going to be the best right now. So, no, oh, hold on. Let me go to equipment. Uh, let's do fairy stars. Okay, so just fairy stars, for example. You can see right here that I have a copy metal, extra attack, copying my, my Kingdom Hearts 3 Aqua. Okay, so basically I get to stack the strength buff multiple times, but because of the fact that I also have a power and speed slot on my fairy stars, that means that my fourth and fifth slot are not going to be able to take advantage of uh, my Aqua's uh, strength buff because she only increases the strength for magic metals. But if you have the new Ultimate Form Sora, for example, um, particularly, it's going to be particularly useful on, say, like, bad guy breaker uh you can actually use him for the entire keyblade you can actually have a full upright keyblade if you wanted to okay do i have an empty setup there we go you can actually have a full upright keyblade if you wanted to put ultimate for form sora in the second slot uh and then that way the entire upright buff will carry pretty much throughout the entire keyblade um that would be a very easy scenario that you could do uh yeah, okay. So that's probably going to be the biggest benefit about Ultimate Form Sora and Kingdom Hearts 3 Ansem once that comes out. It's the fact that they mostly help multi-attribute Keyblades, uh, which will become the meta in the very near future uh, once they've figured out how to adjust and balance sub-slots for the mono-attribute uh, Keyblades, okay? Because it's only right now 
that the mono attribute keyblades are OP, specifically because of the boosters, because they haven't figured out how to balance the, the sub slots for the mono attribute keyblades, okay? Uh, but once they do figure that out, you're definitely going to be wanting to using the multi attribute keyblades, in which case metals like Ultimate Form Sword are probably going to need to be probably going to be seeing way more use instead. So, that's the biggest thing. Uh, what I will state as of right now, though, in the shop, in terms of whether or not to pull for him, uh, if you're already caught up on your medals and stuff, then yeah, I would say, you know, go for the Sora if you can, okay? Like I mentioned before, trying to have at least one copy of each of these dudes as possible, okay, each of those uh, strength buffer medals as possible, is going to be key for pretty much a good portion of uh, the near future. Pretty much the best way to think about it is that these metas, are, I mean, these medals are pretty much setting the new standard for the meta in terms of metals. Okay, so having as many different copies of them as possible to uh, give yourself as much diversification as possible to, between all your setups is going to be the most ideal. Okay, now obviously if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident they're going to uh, release more metals in the future that buff strength of some sort okay hell i wouldn't doubt it if they release metals that actually buff two types of attribute strength okay so imagine maybe like a a riku metal that buffs both power and reverse or power and upright strength okay by 1500 i wouldn't put it past them to do something like that uh so just just a fair bit just throwing that out there um one thing i will say though is that out of all of the banners on uh, currently available the main one that you should absolutely try and get first before any of them is angelic amber because of the fact that she's a copy metal copy metals are the best metals in the entire game if you say otherwise you're a noob you're trash and, <laughs> and you need to reevaluate your life all right make sure you have angelic amber first before anything else all right then once you've done that then you can start worrying about getting any of the other metals okay i'm kind of in that boat right now i highly doubt i'm gonna get angelic amber right now i still need her um i still need to do three pulls and i'm not gonna get enough in time to do that uh but if i can get an extra pull on that banner just to potentially get her i will um even if that means having to sacrifice getting ultimate form sora i don't think Ultimate form Sora is going to be exclusive either, so I'm pretty sh actually like I have a feeling I'm pretty sure that these uh these medals, uh, Terra, Ventus, Ultimate form Sora, I'm pretty sure these are going to be available through future banners as well too. Uh, there's no real reason to think otherwise. So, yeah, pretty much. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Just kind of giving my quick thoughts and opinions about the new metal. Not really too much to be said. It's kind of the same spiel as some of the previous metals that we've already seen, obviously. Uh, but go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.